if you know after games, everybody rushes into the locker room and everybody rushes to Cam's uh, locker first. It's kind of funny if you look back and see it, how people just jam in there because they know Cam, is, first of all, will be available for us, which, like I said, makes us uh, our job a little easier. And he always has something good to say and he doesn't uh, mince words, and we really appreciate that. And he's uh, the 2019 Joe Green, not Joe Green, excuse me, 2019, he won that already before, 2019 Chief Award winner uh, presented by the Pro Football Writers Association of Pittsburgh, Cam Hayward. Congratulations. Uh, first of all, thank you, Mark, for speaking on my, uh, on my behalf. Um, a special thank you goes out to everybody in the media. Um, you know, I'm not always the easiest to talk to. Um, I may mince, I may not mince words, but uh, um, when I do talk, uh, I want to make sure um, I have your attention and um, I give you everything that I'm thinking. Um, you know, but with that, I try to be respectful to my teammates um, and my coaches. Um, you know, I understand there's tough questions out there, and um, I don't have all the answers, but uh, I'm going to try to give you the right answer most of the time. And if I don't have the right answer, I'll find out later on and try to revert back to you guys. But, uh, you know, I'm just thankful. Um, you know, I went to Ohio State where, um, you know, talking to the media was a big point um, and, you know, uh, respecting the media and, um Understanding that you can relay your point, relay your point, and uh, get your point across, being respectful and being helpful, and that goes a long way. Um, your your guys' job is not easy. Um, I don't take it for granted, and uh, I'm just very thankful um, to win this award. Um, but you know, uh, I think I told you I was going to be back here one day, so uh, I finally got back. But uh, you know, I'm just very uh, happy to win this award again, and. Um, we got a big game, and hopefully, I got good things to say after this game. Cam, do you feel pressure uh, being the voice of the team at times? Uh, no, I don't. I don't feel pressure. Uh, you know, I think that comes with the, the jurisdiction, whether it's um, being an, an older guy on the team or you know being the captain. Um, you know, uh, I, I I want that pressure on me to you know, you know. Set, set the line, you know, everybody knows uh, which way I go and, and how to follow, you know, and I don't have to say everything and sometimes I don't need to say much, but um, I want it out there and I want it to be respectful. Did you know before Ohio State that you would like, more importantly, would like with your mother and one that kind of influenced you to take this kind of role? And uh, you know, um, I don't, I don't know how much I knew before. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you, you might deal with the newspapers and such back in your hometown in high school. Um, but when you go to college and uh, especially Ohio State, you get that national media co coverage. Um, you got to be uh, very uh, in tune with it. You know, I can remember the media um, trainers, you know, uh, Shelly Poe um, and Coach Tress uh, were really big and really enforced that uh, as we went through, you know, um, always respecting, um, you know, the media and understand you can relate your point across, you know, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Um, you know, the more, the more you say, um, the more you give up, uh, the better your point's going to be, you know, relate. Do you look at it as like an outlet to the fans also, like, you know, by talking to us, that's yeah. how you get to the fans? You know, I think uh, with uh, social media and, you guys especially, um, you know, we're able to, you know, have our, our points relayed, you know, to the fullest. Um, you know, there doesn't have to be a lot of contradictions in that. And, you know, we can be very honest about ourselves. And um, I know social media has taken over the world, but, um, you know, it says a lot when you can just talk and be straightforward and speak from the heart. How about a media career when you're done with this career? Ah. Um, I'm not, um, I can't think about that right now. Um, you know, maybe when we cross that bridge, but uh, hopefully I got a couple more left in me. Um, you know, I, I want to keep uh, doing my day job. Anything else? Uh, you, you mentioned whenever you were in high school, you were coming through the ranks.
things. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what message do you have for the young people who are watching you? Man, uh, you know, each time you interact with, you know, the media or um, anyone that, uh, you know, any, uh, how would I say that? Anybody that, uh, you know, you, you uh, want to learn from, respect them. Um, treat them with dignity, you know, uh, you know, any coach, any teacher, um, you know, anybody that you interact with, just treat them with respect um, because you never know what avenue that might open up. Um, and it's just preparing you for the life. You know, I think, uh, you know, I was always big fans of my teachers growing up. Um, and they told me how to act in school um, and, you know, told me how to deal with people and, I just appreciate that. You know, I take that in everything I do.